So, let me guess. You want to set my flow up, right? Well, lucky you, I've got the three-stage guide to get you up to speed with Memflow. The overview looks like this. First stage will be installing the connectors. Then will be overflowing the like button. And third will be installing the command line interface. Anyways, ready? Well, let's get started. To install anything Memflow, you'll need the Rust tool chain, and Python. For Linux, Python is most, most likely pre-installed, but links for both are in the description. We will be using Terminal and the Memflow up utility, which makes this process that easy. So the first step is to run Memflow up. To do it in one line, just copy and paste this command, but we want to reuse the utility to update the connectors later on. So to do that, clone the repository using git. Once that's done, cd into Memflow up and then run that utility. We want to install the connector system-wide. So we use the sys keyword, sys install. Then we need to enter a root password. Once that's done, we'll be installing our connectors. Just list them. So it will be Memflow KVM, Memflow Kimu Procfs, and Memflow core dump. We could just pass an asterisk that works as well. But yeah, now it's doing the compilation and installation. And while that's doing, let's do the second step, which is to smash that like button, overflow it. It helps me tremendously. Honestly, my goal is to get to negative 2 billion likes, but that involves overflowing it over 2.147 billion likes. So please, let me get to there. Your every single like, your like, your like helps me tremendously. Thank you. So yeah, now not all connectors are zero setup. KVM1 is extremely fast, but it's not zero setup. It needs a kernel module to run and I'll show you right now how to do that. If not interested, skip to the timestamp below and yeah, but this will be rather quick. First of all, you need to get to the KVM connector page, <clears throat> navigate to the release, the latest release. For Ubuntu, you need to download this Debian package or like any other Debian distribution like Debian, Pop! OS, etc. Download that and run the displayed command to install it. For all other distributions, download the tar gzip file and you'll need DKMS packages pre-installed links in the description for your particular distribution. Once you have those, run this command and it will install it. I have it already installed, but for you, it will build. And to verify that it's installed, just mod probe, manflow. And if there are no errors and if dmask has this, this message, that means you're all good to go. Anyways, at this point, your connectors are all ready to go. Now, the last stage is to install the Memflow command line interface. Let's install it using this command, which is cargo install uh, memflow CLI branch dev force memflow CLI. What this command does, I'll, I'll break it down for you. We install memflow CLI using this particular Git repository because we, we don't release things on crates.io very often. And branch dev is to install from the latest development branch because we constantly add new features in. It's a very work in progress tool and this will have the latest features in. Dash dash force makes cargo redo all the steps without checking the version number because when we push to development branch, we don't update the version and Cargo doesn't know that we did update it. And once you run it, it will, it will download all the crates, it will compile everything and you'll be ready to go. Once that's done, we need to create a special Memflow group to use the CLI without root access. So to do that, just add Memflow group. For me, it already exists. And once you have done that, add this command, add yourself to the memflow group. Once that's done, 
You may need to lo log out and log back in for these changes to apply, but feel free to do that after the setup. Now, the last step is to install the the daemon, which actually does the actual the, the whole work. It's the same command, but from memflow CLI changes to memflow daemon, the same Git repository. We also need to do some initial configuration. Just paste these commands from the, the description. Make directory for memflow and then this command to set up the initial configuration. At this point, the command line interface is ready. What we do is initialize the daemon, enter the password, and then we can create a new connection. And also mount to the memflow directory. Then we go to memflow and we can interact with the processes. So yeah, this was it. You're ready to use Memflow in your projects. In the next video, it's going to be very exciting. We will be starting to code Memflow, a Memflow project, which is going to explain you how to use it, all the details and all other fun stuff. So yeah, stay tuned for that. It's going to come out of this Wednesday. Anyways, thank you for watching. My name was Heap. Yours was Undefined. See ya.